And Andrew, you've got a really significant development in the story around the Qatar Airways bid for more flights. Yes, Kieran. A departmental submission to Transport Minister Catherine King recommending action in terms of an application by Qatar Airways to expand flights into Australia has been blocked from release to Sky News by the Minister's Department. It's been blocked after a warning from the Department of Foreign Affairs that the document's release would, quote, damage, unquote, Australia's, quote, international relations, unquote, with the Qatari government. In August this year, Sky News requested through freedom of information laws, quote, all advice from the Department of Transport and Infrastructure to the Transport Minister concerning a request by Qatar Airways to expand flights into Australia, which has been penned since January 1st, 2023. The FOI application has confirmed that there was departmental advice given to the Minister on this issue on January 4, a full six months before Minister King made the decision to block Qatar Airways' bid to fly more into Australia. Her decision was in July. The Minister's decision has since led to a media storm and a Senate inquiry with the opposition accusing the government of running a racket for Qantas. The refusal of the government to release this departmental advice from January that Sky has uncovered will only fuel speculation that Catherine King was acting against the advice of her department when she refused Qatar Airways' request for 28 extra flights a week. The opposition's infrastructure spokesman, Paul Fletcher, asked the Minister in Parliament in August whether she had received departmental advice recommending the extra flights be approved. She declined to answer. Did the Minister receive advice from her, go her department recommending that she approve additional routes applied for by Qatar Airways. He would well know that these are uh, bilateral agreements that are made between governments. Right. And as with all <laughs> bilateral agreements that are made between that governments, they are international that. agreements <laughs> and that we only sign up to agreements that benefit our national interest yeah. in all of its broad complexity. And that includes ensuring that we have an aviation sector through the recovery that employs Australian workers. Yeah. In determining what our national interest is, we have to consider a broad range of factors, and not one factor led to this particular decision. The government has determined that agreeing to the Qatar Civil Aviation Authority request for additional services is not in our national interest, yeah. and we will always consider the need to ensure that there are long-term, well-paid, secure jobs by Australians in the aviation sector when we are making this decision. Yeah. And I am pretty sure that the minister, when he was in that position, had exactly the same view when faced with the same question. So just to recap this mystery advice to the minister, January 4, 2023, Qatar Airways, which is owned by the Qatari government, first approached the government to expand their flights in August 2022. The FOI decision maker at the Transport Department to the Sky News request identified this one document that was relevant to that request. Advice from the department to the minister dated January 4. It's called Ministerial Submission MS 23001858. And the FOI decision maker found the department couldn't release this document to Sky News because, quote, the document contains information which relates to relations between the Australian government and the state of Qatar. I'm satisfied there is a reasonable expectation that the release of material in the document would disclose information about those international relations. Further goes on, quote, I'm also satisfied there's a reasonable expectation of damage to the international relations of the Australian government. If this information were made publicly available, it would have the capacity to prejudice or undermine the Australian government's relations with Qatar. Quote, in making my decision, I have consulted with the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade and have had regard to that advice on this matter. So the document couldn't be blocked on Cabinet and Confidence grounds. As we know, controversially, this decision never went to Cabinet. And Sky News revealed on September 6 that Foreign Minister Penny Wong had telephoned the Qatari Prime Minister then as this Qatar Airways issue swirled around the Parliament she did, says she didn't discuss the Qatar Airways flights request then, but she did raise the issue involving the strip searching of Australian women at Doha Airport two years ago, which led to the women suing the airline. So how could this departmental advice 
they won't release harm Australia's international relations. Does this advice contain information about the strip searching of those Australian women two years ago? Or does it contain other information around the Qatari government which insults them? Or does the mere fact the advice recommended approving extra flights hurt the Australian government and its international relations? One more thing in relation to this. The recent Senate inquiry revealed that on 19th of January, DFAT was asked by the Office of the Minister for Foreign Affairs for input to the Department of Transport on this issue, based on a request from Ms King's office. Now, if the departmental recommendation was refusal in the January 4 document, why would the Minister's office bother going to DFAT for advice after the recommendation is made? It looks more and more to me that the department recommended approving the extra Qatari flights and I'd like to see the Minister in the Parliament deny otherwise and deny that she went against her department's advice, Karen. Yeah, very interesting development this afternoon.